Chapter 25 is called A Vicious Circle. Miggery So called the man who purchased her uncle, as he said she must. And also, as he said she must, Mig tended uncle's sheep and cooked uncle's food and scrubbed uncle's kettle. She did all of this without a word of thanks or praise from the man himself. Another unfortunate fact of life with uncle was that he very much liked giving Mig what he referred to as a good clout to the ear. In fairness to uncle, it must be reported that he did always inquire whether or not Mig was interested in receiving the clout. Their daily exchanges went something like this. Uncle, I thought I told you to clean the kettle. I cleaned it, uncle. I cleaned it good. That's filthy. You'll have to be punished, won't you? Gore, uncle. I cleaned the kettle. Are you saying I'm a liar, girl? No, uncle. Do you want a good clout to the ear, then? No, uncle. I don't. Alas, uncle seemed to be as entirely unconcerned with what Wigma wanted as her mother and father had been. The disgust clout to the ear was always delivered, delivered, I'm afraid, with a great deal of enthusiasm on uncle's part and received with absolutely no enthusiasm on the part of Mig. These clouts were alarmingly frequent and uncle was scrupulously fair in paying attention to both the right and left side of Miggery So. So it was that after a time, the young Mig, Mig's ears came to resemble not so much ears as pieces of cauliflower stuck to either side of her head. And they became about as useful to her as pieces of cauliflower. That is to say that they all but ceased their functioning as ears. Words for Mig lost their sharp edges, and then they lost their edges altogether and became blurry, blankety things that she had a great deal of trouble making any sense out of at all. The less Mig heard, the less she understood. The less she understood, the more things she did wrong. And the more things she did wrong, the more clouts to the ear she received, and the less she heard. This is what is known as a vicious circle. And Miggery So was right in the center of it, which is not, reader, where anybody would want to be. But then, as you know, what Miggery So wanted had never been of much concern to anyone. That's the end of the chapter. So this man that Miggery So's dad sold her to, what is he like? Yeah, it sounds like he is very unkind. He demands that Miggery So do all of his chores. And then what does he do to her? He hits her on both sides of her head. And because he hits her so often and so hard, what happens to her ears? Yeah, it's like they became like pieces of cauliflower, which means it was really hard for Miggery So to hear anything. She couldn't hear very well. And because she couldn't hear very well, could she do her chores that well? No, because she wasn't doing her chores very well. What happened? She got hit even more. It's called a vicious circle. My goodness. Would you want to be Miggery So? No, me neither. Ooh. All right, let's keep going.